about this lab, my friend.
ce l'ha detto. E le fa. Kan afleid ord. Smell that jailbird? I uh, think so. Eivor, Chilbert. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you.
Aeneer is the Britain's best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Jailbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Ivar. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Thor! Thunder's beside us! Soldiers, less support for Rotary.
Beer! This way. Ah, yes. For this, I am coming. Keep up. There's no beer like no beer. Have you no shame? Well, I do. Not. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the glorious nectar? Come, my sweet and lady. in like a winter sea.
the last of them. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! Eivor! Did you see Jailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Eivor. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. To survive a battle is to be born anew in blood and streams. My father died in a snake pit. Left nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father, Ragnar, left a strong saga. Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is... You, enough. you need me. No, Ivar. True... It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. <gasps> Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. All I have are my weapons. Have a look soon, isn't it? Yes, you. 
Dane's fish.
That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. I had my doubts about this plan, Ivar, but I believe it may work. This blow we dealt Rodri is a painful one. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it. His... I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of... Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. 
I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Meirog minni, 